And now, our feature presentation. Hey guys, this is Honey here once again, and at this time it's like three thirty in the morning. Um, I can't, I can't even sleep myself. So I personally thought, um, what can I do? Why, what am I doing when I'm bored? While I'm kind of getting bored right now. So basically, this video, we're gonna do a night indie game between um, my hometown, Boston, versus it's like a shadow video. It's before I put my honor to him, so this is for um Steve. Uh Steve the Shredder and his his um team, Baltimore Orioles. Um at one game I see him live. I'll give a I'll give him credit to his team that he won at, at that game. Um I'm not very pissed about it. It's just like I wasn't, I didn't watch it. The majority of it, I just watched the the first two innings. But regardless, regardless, um, it's gonna be my special honor to him in, you know, quite a pretty your game. For this one, I'm going to take. Dice K and going with the lineup. Yeah, we'll take the lineup. And we'll probably do it nighttime in Fenway Park. Overall, in in my perspective, I only went two Two baseball games. One of them against the Orioles, I believe. The other thing is against the Blue Jays. If I'm not mistaken. But I think personally, I love those games. Now from the place proclaimed as America's most beloved ballpark, MLB the show welcomes you to the fan. It's just a past that you just don't worry about it. Tonight, a good matchup for you in the AL East, as it'll be the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Boston Red Sox. And welcome again, everybody, to our coverage of Major League Baseball. Matt Vaskersian here to call the balls and strikes. Alongside me, Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And Hud, let's turn to you. What catches your eye in a matchup like this one? Well, one guy who stands out in any lineup is Big Poppy David Ortiz. Anytime you see that slow walk to the plate, the spit in the glove, a couple claps, oh, you know the battle is on. He's never an easy out. All right, Hud, we'll get to Dave in a minute, but first let's get to our starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. It's brought to us by Majestic. Leading things off will be the second baseman and first-time All-Star Brian Roberts. Batting second is the third baseman and father of quintuplets Melvin Mora. Batting third is Nick Markakis. He's out in right. Then comes Aubrey Huff. He'll be over at first base. Adam Jones bats fifth. He's in center field. Luke Scott will be the DH tonight and bat in the sixth spot. Felix Pia will be in the number seven spot and play left field. Following him is Greg Zahn behind the plate. Cesar Asturias will hit number nine. He is at shortstop. They'll be opposed by the MVP from the first World Baseball Classic, right-hander Daisuke Matsuzaka. Daisuke, of course, has become quite the sensation in his first couple of years in Boston, and for good reason. He took a giant leap forward last year, posting a sterling 18-3 record with an equally impressive ERA of just 2.90. Now look there at the Red Sox defensively as they'll feature not only an MVP at second, but a gold glover as well, Dustin Pedroia. Mm-hmm. 
Into the box now is leadoff hitter Brian Roberts, and we are just about set for baseball from Boston. Here we go. First pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first, he'll get this Speedy Roberts for the first down of the ball game. No trouble over there at second base. Always good to get that leadoff guy out so you can settle in a little. Mm -hmm. Melvin Mora will get his first shot at it here. I remember watching um one of my um one of my friends watching a baseball game. The cutter runs outside. I mean, it's pretty understandable. The roster is pretty okay, <laughs> and then the gen the manager is not bad than I thought. I mean, when I heard about uh, John Farrell, I was I was like really excited because I don't know if he's the key to uh, to win it. To win the, the World Series uh, last year. Eventually, it did. Actually, you'd like to get this ball out a little further. If the catcher can get to it quickly, you normally get thrown out. Case in point. Nick Markakis will take his cuts now. I mean, the 2004 World Series champions. That was a pretty darn excitement for the for Boston fans. I mean, the end of the the curse of the Bambino. The end of words uh, from Babe Ruth. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. Swung on and missed on a pitch at the thumb. The ball and a strike. Is there a replay? Set here. Hit on the ground to shortstop. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Mm -hmm. So a fairly painless top of the first. And now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. And the starting lineup for those Red Sox looks like this. Jacoby Ellsbury is the leadoff man. He's in center field. Dustin Pedroia will bat second and play second. Following him is David Ortiz, and we all know the kind of power he has. After that is the first baseman, Kevin Euclid. Batting fifth is J.D. Drew. He'll be out in right field. Former Rookie of the Year, Jason Bay, follows. He's in left. Behind him, the veteran third baseman, Mike Lowell. Josh Bard will be behind the plate and hit eight. Jed Lowry will hit number nine. He is at shortstop. They'll be opposed by the right-hander Jeremy Guthrie. Guthrie, the Stanford product, has been the de facto ace of the Orioles staff the past couple of years and put together some pretty good numbers playing on a last-place ball club. A 3.63 ERA and a tough park for pitchers is no small feat. A look there at the Orioles defensively led by former gold lover Cesar Asturias at short. Jacoby Ellsbury will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. Now the pitch. Swung on, missed, one and one. Hmm. On uh, that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. Hmm. 
there's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. Hmm. Okay. They'll try again, one, two. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. And he'll try to lock him up with that down and in to keep him from getting extended. Here's the two and two offering. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seat. And he's just fighting to nope. stay alive here. Still two and two. Well, at one time I sent him the, uh, the left seats. That's those seats. Straight back. Oh, come on! Reaches and hits this one hard the other way, but foul. Are you kidding me? This is their 10th pitch. What could be wrong? down the left field line but back in amongst the spectators foul no pitch number 11 now a swing and a fly ball Jones is there and he has it for the first down No further comment. Justin Pedroia will take his first cut to the ball game here. Now a soft liner to the right side, and this is going to be a foul ball. <laughs> ball down the line and that's by him down the line in right field toward the corner oh come on they'll apply the tag and he is out at second bad call well sometimes you got to know when it's a good idea to put on the brakes at first base he gambled there and lost big time my bad david ortiz will get his first opportunity now Five-time All-Star player during the 2009 times. Yes. And here's the first pitch. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. And a close play at first, but he's pulled out of the side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Hmm. On to the second inning now from Fenway Park with no score. Aubrey Huff leads things off now in the top half. Aubrey of the Huff. Here I thought I heard somewhere. And that misses for ball one. Mm, that's the way off. Here's his fastball for a cold strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. Now a ball grounded foul over towards the coaching box. The pitch. Now a fastball. Oh, look below the knees, but he rings him up anyway, and there's one gone. Adam Jones will get his first cuts here. Let me quickly tell you about this guy during during um this during the first game, I believe. Oh my! I if I recall, I think he was so lucky to get a home run. I'm not even saying lucky. It's just he's just he's just one of the good stars. Fastball at 
94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Got to have a little better plate coverage up there. Um, what else do I need to say? Up with the ball is Pedroia. Throw on to Euclid gets him, and there's out number two. This is hard when your momentum is taking you one way and you got to throw another, but he was right on the money. Luke Scott digs in at the plate. Luke Scott? Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strike. Yeah, I'm trying to get him to chase okay. out there, but that ball had too much tail on it. And this ball will be chopped foul. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. Hmm. Nice trick. him on the slurve and the side is retired so they breeze through this half of the inning on now to the bottom of the second and we are tied nothing nothing Kevin Euclid will start things off in the bottom of the second Euc, 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 Euc before he went out to Chicago a couple now years later off to the right side They say they want to refresh new talent. I'm fine with that. Here's the pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Oh. Right, one and two. Yeah, not a pitch you can extend on. That's a good spot. And a miss as he ran the fence right by him for the first down. This is what happens when you find yourself down in the count. All of a sudden, you start overthinking up there, and before you know it, you're on your way back to the dugout. JD Drew will dig in here. Oh, damn! Quick love at third, and there were two gone. Jason Bay steps in now. Caught it. Oh, Good slider there damn. Gets ahead of him, nothing in one. That thing's almost in the dugout. What are you swinging at? I didn't realize that. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. And that's in there, base hit. And now this will rattle up against the fence. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Pretty darn good back control there as he's a little late on this one, but still finds a way to slice it down the line for extra bases. That's fine. Man at second here with two away, and in steps Mike Lowell. Mike Lowell. One of the best individuals that I thought of when I watched baseball. First pitch coming. Swing and a line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Now it's cut off. The throw to the plate. And safe at the plate as he just gets in ahead of the tag. Well, that'll put him on the board first here in the second inning. Just a good compact stroke there, and it's one nothing. Josh Bard will stand in for the first time here. 57 things with, with San Diego Padres before with a big trade. Or something with a trade. I'm not sure. Because the only person I can recall was Chase and Veritek. Bad 
pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Okay, Boston got score with one zero second inning. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Here he comes again, one two. Outside, two balls and two strikes to count now. Red Sox on top in the early going. one nothing as we play the second. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. And now that runner on first can get a head start here with two out. had to give her the old old lay that time. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And got out. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We play two full. The Red Sox are out in front, one to nothing. Felix Pia. Ready to go here as we begin the third. VXPA. Okay. Here's the first. And there's a fastball for Matsuzaka. Good for strike one. And the pitch. Here's number two. For a ball one and one. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. All right. I don't know where the ball is heading. Pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Yeah, I don't know where the ball headed. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Next. And throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Ah, and this is one of those situations as a hitter where you wish you could have a do-over. That was right down the middle. Greg Zahn will stand in. Could be a tough play. Oh. Won't be in time as he reaches it first. Nice. Shut down the first couple of innings, but they're officially into the hit column here in the third. Now they got to work on getting a few runs across. Cesar's Turris will be the batter. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. Oh. But he's safe at first mm. as he gets back in time. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a liner. And that'll land for a base hit. Wow. They're really catching on. And the book on this guy is to get the ball up into the outer part of the plate. But I think he knows where this pitch is heading, and he puts a good swing on it. Brian Roberts will step in. A ground out victim his last time. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. Oh, I think I didn't get it. Oh man. Got his third baseman Melvin Mora. And a fastball in there for strike one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Oh, he can't catch it. Mora's out. As he swings and misses for the second out. So two men are gone now in the Baltimore third. And standing in the powerful right fielder Nick Marquez. Here's Mark Akis. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Out. Is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Missed opportunities will haunt you as they were held in check despite loading the bases. 
so they load the bases. Nice try, though. Can't bring anyone around to score. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Boston's out in front, one to nothing. Jed Lowry makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Let me get the other thing uploaded for Saturday. Here's the first offering. And on the ground to third. Oh! He throws it away. That's a failure. This is just a situation where he never locks in on his target, and as a result, this one just gets away from him. Jacoby Ellsbury will try it again. He flew out his first time. No insults, but it's just a game. Here's one hit towards the hole. And Morris' throw is in time for route number one. Ball hit to the third baseman, so he's able to look the runner back to second and throw on to first. No advance. One gone here in the Boston third. And standing in, the young second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. First pitch on the way. And that's oh. cut on a miss, 0-1. Is that bat 34 inches or 64 inches? That was way out of the zone. Runner breaks for third. It swung out and missed the throw. A tag by Mora, and he is out at third base. Mm -hmm. That's fail. That just a great grab and release by the catcher. He's got to get that thing out in a hurry, and that was right on the money. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to. Oh, I should have stole it. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. It swung on and hit in the air. Did it work? Double over the wall for an automatic double. David Ortiz will stride in, rounded out his last time for it. David Ortiz. Ooh. Wow. Boy, there are NBA centers that couldn't reach that one. I think I'm insulted. <laughs> Fourth inning in progress. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. And here's hits in there. Cut on and missed there by Huff, and he's quickly down 0 and 2. Had success with that fastball. Why not turn to it again 0 and 2? And here's a third. Take something off, but it's 1 and 2 now. And here. On the ground towards second. Yeah. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Kind of hurried to throw here when he didn't need to, but the first baseman saves the air. That was a nice play. Adam Jones will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And here's the... 
low, mm. one and oh. And even when you're missing low with a fastball, it can still effectively set up your other pitches. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Here's the foul ball. Just another pitch. To the sure-handed Lowell, the third. Oh! Throw, but he manages to nice. Down with it to get his man. Thanks to Lowell. Luke Scott will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Ahead here with the fastball, strike one. He has one hand. Goes the other way, and this is down the line at third. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. That's a full speed. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Red Sox are out in front, one to nothing. Cool. Kevin Euclid will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Uke, 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 Uke. And... Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground. To oh, come on! And a toss by Roberts is in time, one away. All right. J.D. Drew will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. And here's the first pitch. Swing and a hard ground ball to third. Are you Those serious? Throw on to Huff now, and there are two down. <laughs> Am I getting embarrassed by this? Jason Bay will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. Here's Mr. Bay. The it's only runner in this game so far. Now a swing and this is popped straight up. Oh. Now this could be a tough play. Oh boy. Swan is there and how about that? A three pitch inning as the side is retired. Swan. Wow. doing here this half. Felix Pia will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Let's cut to a chase. Let's go. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Yeah, good late movement. Just did catch that inside corner. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. And... Yay, going down. Hit hard to the right side. Oh boy. Foul. This will take a while. We'll try again, one, two. Ball two. And at least he's keeping that thing low. He won't get hurt down there. And right here. Boy, good patience to lay out the cutter there. Three and two. Greg Zahn waits on deck. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Pretty not a, a pretty, pretty okay game so far. And, uh oh. I picked the wrong thing, I think. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle to his left. Got it. Never mind. First, and it's a quick two outs here for Matsuzaka. Cesar's Turris will dig in. He singled his last time around. Cesar. 
And go. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Boy, that is just the definition of hitting your spot. One, two, and three. Foul straight back. And let's finish off with this one. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is going to find the seats of foul ball. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. There to get it is Pedroia. Throw on to Euclid will take care of him, and that will end the inning. Yeah, that'll take care of that. So five shutout innings for him thus far. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Red Sox on top, one to nothing. Mike Lowell will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Double with the RPI. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Um. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Excuse me. Pitchers work on this all through spring training. No problems that time. Mm. Low got out. Josh Bard will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch to him. Grounded foul. Those are the kind of location mistakes you just can't afford to make. Damn it! Fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. Boy, and no factor up there with that swing. He was way late on the fastball. And way over, too. Jed Lowry will be the batter. Three outs. In plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they lead it one to nothing. Yeah. Oh well. Brian Roberts will get things started here in the top of inning number six. And three. Let's try this. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. Well, as soon as he sees where this thing's going to wind up, he flips on the afterburners, and he's able to make it all the way around to third with the leadoff triple. Track me. Great. Fast start. So a runner 90 feet away with nobody out. And here's the versatile Melvin Moore. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. Well, here in the middle innings now, we're right back where we started from. Good at bat there, and we're all tied again. Nick Marquez will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. On the ground to second base, this could be 2. 1 and... One. On the Euclid as they get them both, a double play. 
A little unconventional, perhaps, but it does the job anyway. As a good turn here, we'll get him the double play. Aubrey Huff will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Swing and a liner. In there with base hit. Well, they set up looking for the corner, but this thing comes right back towards the middle of the plate, and he pulls it to right for the hit. Adam Jones will step in, a ground out victim as last time. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Come set, now the pitch. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Boy, he'd need a sandwich to get that. Slice down the line at first. And Euclid will just take this one onto the bag himself in the end. Well, that was quick. So one run on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth, all tied at one and one. Jacoby Ellsbury will dig in, 0 for 2 thus far. Oh, man. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gun. Good start to the six form right there. You see the numbers on your screen. Five and a third, one earned run, four hits allowed. As a manager, you'll take that every time out. Dustin Pedroia will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. This is going to be a solid game overall. Sliced Not the best, but solid. And his results, ball. Shooting for the outside corner, but he missed it one and two. Now he takes something off there as this is skied out to fairly deep center field. And he's able and to take this one down on the run for route number two. That's one turn through the lineup now. Nine straight is retired. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth, and in steps trouble in the person of David Ortiz, the DH. Gets ahead oh. of him, he got it to swing over the top of this one. Oh, and this guy's been around long enough to know not to swing at that garbage. Here it comes. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And off the glove of Roberts. Oh! Man, that no, should have been a second error. So nothing happening this time around. Oh well. Six full, all tied at one and one. Luke Scott will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. Now here's the ball hit in the air to straight away. Oh, light. come on! This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here! Oh, come on! A solo shot here to straight away right field, and the Orioles surge ahead 2-1. to one. Matt, this is a big home run here late in this one. The game's certainly not over yet, but this lead changes hands here, and this could be a huge turning point. Felix Pia will stride in, rounded out his last time through. You know what? I had it. Swing and a ball trap foul down the left side. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit well out toward deep left field. One out. Bay, just shy of the monster, he makes the catch for out number one. 
Nighttime skies over Boston alongside Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. Matt Vaskersian bringing you the call from venerable Fenway Park. Greg Zahn will step in. One for two in the ballgame. Here's the first offering. Mm, here we go. And this is ripped down the first baseline. Foul. Here's another one. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators. Foul. Oh boy. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to Euclid gets him, and there's out number two. Well, this one got up on him in a hurry, but he's able to stay with it for the out. Cesar Asturias will dig in one for two thus far. Seven long innings for Dice K. Cold strike at the letters, 0 and 1. Boy, and even late in the ball game, Matt, he's still getting that fastball up in the mid 90s. In there, strike two. Got to shorten up your swing now and try to protect the outer half. Let's see. This by help. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So only one hit in the inning on the solo shot, but it's enough to... Oh, the seven inning run. stretch. They'll get up and stretch here at Fenway. The Orioles are on top, two to one. Kevin Euclid will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And here's Mike Low. Or, oh, excuse me, Kevin Yu. to the right side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. J.D. Drew will stand in. Well, Yuke's out. First pitch coming. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And a diving try by Asturis, but it's by him, a base hit. Finally. Well, they decided to start him off with a curveball here, but this pitch gets too much of a plate, and he's a four. Jim Johnson will be the new pitcher. Jim Johnson? Oh, boy. Jason Bay will stand in. He popped out in his last time. Drew leads from first, the pitch. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Runners on first with one down. Looked like he lost the handle on a breaking pitch, one and one. And this thing starts out a strike. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Could agree more. second this could be two to second for one on to Huff and it's in time a double play and the side is retired damn it Red Sox go down quietly our score remains two to one Ryan Roberts will get us going now in the top half of the eighth that's gay good job out there Hideki Okajima is on, and he'll take over on the mound. What a good Japanese uh, uh, pitchers. And this is low, ball one. Sometimes guys get down and get the soft stuff. Not there. Not quite reaching 90 with the fastball, but it's one and one now. And there's ball two now. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. That's the 2 2 pitch. And You're he out. Cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first down. Melvin Mora will get another crack, one for three thus far. Melvin Mora. Fast 
fastball as this is hit. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Brew is over to his right as he puts this one away, two down. Nick Markakis to get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. First pitch on the way. Fouled straight back. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And, and sharply on the ground. Throw on to Euclidus is right there, and the inning is over. Mm -hmm. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Orioles lead it two to one. Oh, sweet. Mike Lowell will be the batter. One for two thus far. The pit. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And now this will rattle up against the fence. Yes, run to doubles. Into second with a lead off double. Not the way you want to start an inning on the mound as he serves up a lead off double right there. Josh Bard will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. Base hit. the way they wanted to get things started here with a slim lead in late innings. He's going to need to bear down now. Jed Lowry will step in, a ground out victim his last time. And this is lined nope. up to the left side. Not disadvantage. Hit on the ground, but foul. Let's see. Oh! On and for the first nope. Day. Jack can do it. Pitching change coming up as it will be the young right hander Chris Ray. Who is he? Is he the closing pitcher? Hmm, he might be. We'll try again. Over three thus far. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line and left. TA is there. Let's see if they test it. Oh! Damn it! Yes, yeah, screw my game up. Thanks. Thanks. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Hard hit towards center. And he's going to get there. Yep. Make a fine running catch, and there's your first out of the inning. I think I screwed my game up. Thanks. Adam Jones will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Foul back. Showing bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. Hits are even at seven apiece. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Well, that went over. Circle change. Mm -mm. Hadn't looked very comfortable up there throughout the entire game. He might have been pressing a little bit right there because he chased a bad pitch and now he's going to head back to the dugout wearing an 0 for 4 collar. Luke Scott will dig in. A home run his last time. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Oh, and a fastball down there like that will take the sting out of your bat if you make contact. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Circle change again. So it remains a one run nice. as they head in for their final set of swings. So they go down without a whimper here. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. Baltimore's out in front, two to one. Oh boy. Justin Pedroia 
We need a run to tie the game. And a foul ball straight back. Apparently, we won't let that happen. Oh, we will. Ah, we will make it happen. On the ground of the second baseman, Roberts. Maybe not. Rota first is in time for the first down. George Sherrill is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Oh, George Sherrill was the Save one. Chris Ray's just a pitcher. Ah, whatever. Swinging on the first pitch as this is bounced out to And he's out. Now and there are two down. And you out of their final out now. And set to stand in is the first oh boy. Of Kevin Euclid. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Just gotta find some way to get on base here. We need to. Now the pitch. And a good ball there is this is lifted. Yeah, up we're done. Center field. Jones, That's game, folks. Catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Whoa, I thought he had it for a second, but he just got under it a little too much. What a way to end this one, though. Not very pleased. But they got the win. They got the win. Oh well. <sighs> well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher. Jeremy Guffrey. Went above and beyond the call of duty here in this one. He's our upper deck player of the game. Well, Matty got him through six and a third good innings, and that was enough to put his team in good position to win the game. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Orioles win this one 2-1. to one. This has been a presentation of MLB 09 The Show. For more information, log on to MLB09.com. So long, everybody. I think that's it for the... For the gameplay of MLB Night the show for the PlayStation 2. I um, hope you guys enjoy this game video. And and again, uh, Steve's town, uh, the Battle of Orioles wins the game against my team. Um, not too much surprise with this game. Just it just it's just a solid game overall. And until next time, I'll see you guys in another video.